Good morning, viewers. Welcome to this issue devotionals for this morning. Topic for this morning: the platform of divine knowledge. Topic: the platform of divine knowledge, or that series, the capital platform for shards of grace. Host my humble self, Luke Kefas. Text is taken from the Book of Isaiah, chapter thirty-four, from verse sixteen to seventeen. But let's pray before we begin. Father, we thank you for an opportunity to be alive this morning. We come to hear your word. We are speak to us and grant us understanding. Psalm 107, 20, you send a word and heal them from all their destruction. Send your word and heal us from all spiritual ignorance this morning. Grant us grace to become doers of your word and we hear us only according to the book of James. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Topic, the platform of divine knowledge. Under the series, the capital platform for showers of grace. Host, my humble self, the Kefas. Text taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 34, from verse 16 to 17. I read from verse 16. Bro. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord Bro, and read. No one of this shall fail. I take that again. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of this shall fail. None shall want her me, for my mouth it has commanded, and his spirit it has gathered them. Verse 17. And he had cast the Lord for them, and his hand had given it unto them by line. They shall possess it forever, from generation to generation shall they dwell therein. And the Lord bless his word, grant us understanding as we continue in Jesus' name. For the reading, Daniel chapter 12, verse 4 says, But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even unto the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall increase. I pray you have passion to go after the knowledge of God's word, and the knowledge that you have shall increase in Jesus' name. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 said, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate there in day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for thine. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. Remember, Jesus increased in knowledge, in wisdom, in status, and he had favor with God and with man. I pray you increase in the knowledge of God's word, and you come into favor, you come into great grace with men and with God in Jesus' name. Topic one more time. The platform of divine knowledge. And that is series, the capital platform for showers of grace. Host my humble self, Luke of Kephas, take it from the book of Isaiah chapter 34 from 16 to 7. 16 to 17. We've read that for the reading. Daniel chapter 12, verse 4, Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. Please as a leisure time current look this Bible passages again, and I'm sure you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thinking cap, a mind blow word for the spawning age. Showers of grace expressly works and triumph in places. Where grace is not abused. I take that again. Showers of grace expressly works and triumph in places where grace is not abused. Think about this. Today we'll look at the topic, the platform of divine knowledge, on that teaching series on the capital platform for showers of grace. First, by introduction, let's understand that the knowledge of God's word is the breeding ground for the manifestation of divine grace and glory. Wherever divine knowledge is found, showers of grace, events, acts, and testimonies proceed. In fact, after one's salvation and baptism of the Holy Ghost, one must seek the deep knowledge of God and His Word. A man of knowledge will always know what to do part time. A man of divine knowledge is a man of strength, wisdom, insight, understanding, help, favor, and grace. And I pray you and I, as we increase in our knowledge base of God's Word, we will be men of strength, we will be men of wisdom, we will be men of insight, we will be men of understanding, we will be men of good health, we will be men of favor, and we will be men Men of great grace in Jesus' name. In Daniel chapter 11, verse 32, the people said, But the people that do know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploit. So, your being strong and your doing exploit in life is limited to your knowledge of God. If you know little about God, then you amount to little in life. If you know much about God, believe you me, you're going to amount much in life. You'll matter to this generation, especially when you apply that which you know. Proverbs 23, verse 12 said, Apply thy heart unto instruction and thy ears to the knowledge to the words of knowledge apply the heart unto instruction and thy ears to the words of knowledge i pray the knowledge of god's word that you've acquired you will apply it in the ramification of your life in jesus name second peter 3 18 said but growing grace and in knowledge of our lord and savior jesus christ to him be glory both now and forever i pray you grow in grace you grow in knowledge of god's word and you scale new height in Jesus' name. Let's look at our subtopic. What's the capital platform for showers of grace? We saw, we've seen the point yesterday, the platform of God's Spirit. One more time, what's the capital platform for showers of grace? Yesterday we saw the platform of God's Spirit. So please, you can reference that teaching series on this platform. 
you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. We're looking at one more point again today to add up what we've seen yesterday. What's the capital platform of showers of grace? We're looking at the platform of divine knowledge. It simply means that anytime we create a pool, an atmosphere filled with the inside light and knowledge of God's word, then we command showers of grace at will. I pray you command showers of grace at will in your life in Jesus' name. Psalm chapter 1, 119 verse 97. He said, Oh, how I love thy law. How I love thy word. Oh, I love thy law. It is my meditation all day long. 98 said, Thou through thy commandment has made me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. He said, Verse 19, I have more understanding than all my teachers, for their testimonies are my meditation. Verse 100 said, I understand more than the ancients, because I keep thy precept. Verse 119 said, I have refrained my feet. From evil way that I may keep thy word. As to one or two, I have not departed from thy judgment, for thou hast taught me how sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. 104. Through thy precept I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Isaiah 34 16 to 17 says, Seek ye out of the book of the law and read. No one of these shall fail. I pray every knowledge, every vision, every encounter you have from God's word all will come to pass in Jesus' name. Verse 17 said, And he had cast the Lord for them, and he had divided it unto them by line. They shall possess it forever. From generation to generation shall they dwell therein. But remember, it takes knowledge. It takes knowledge for you to take your lot. It takes knowledge for you to take your possession. It takes knowledge for you to pass it from one generation to another. It takes knowledge for you to dwell in God's uh, blessings. I pray today you will receive the passion to go after the knowledge of God's word and you apply it in your life in Jesus' name. Psalm 107 20 said he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. So when you seek the knowledge of God's word, every blindfold in your life is being destroyed. Luke chapter 5 from verse 17 to 26 and it came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching that there was the Pharisees and the doctors of the Lord sitting by which were come out of every town of Galilee and, and Judea and Jerusalem and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. And behold, Men brought in a, a man which is in the, uh, taken with palsy, and they sought means to bring him in and lay him before him. And when they could not find by what way they might bring him in, they took off the roof and brought him down to Jesus. Verse 20. And when he saw their faith, he said unto them, said unto him, Man, thy sins are forgiven thee. Verse 24 said, But that which ye may know, that the Son of Man hath power on the earth to forgive sin. He said unto the sick of palsy, I say unto thee, Arise and take off thy couch and go into thy house. And immediately, it was 25, he arose up before them and took up that which he laid and departed to his own house, glorifying God. And they were all amazed and they glorified God. And we are filled with fear, saying, We have seen strange things today. So if you want to see strange things in your life, go after the knowledge of God's word. Remember, the knowledge of God's word carry power. We've seen the healing virtue at work. As we've seen in Psalm 107 verse 20, we also saw it, uh, the man that Jesus healed with the sickness of party in Luke chapter 5, 17 to, 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 to 26. 2 Timothy 2, 15, study to show that approved unto God as a workman that may not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. One more time, what's the capital platform for showers of grace? We're dwelling on the platform of divine knowledge. When for that city simply means that any time we create a pool, an atmosphere filled with the inside light and knowledge of God's word, then we command showers of grace at will. And I pray, as you seek after God's word daily, as you study the word daily, as you read, go after authors, books that will bless your life, I see you commanding showers of grace. I see grace answering for you in Jesus' name. Psalm 119, 97 to 105, you can read that, Isaiah 34, 16 to 17. Psalm 107, verse 20, Luke 5, 17 to 26, 2 Timothy 2, verse 15. Please, at the leisure time, read the scriptures again, and I'm sure you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Lastly, let's understand that the platform of divine knowledge is the platform of peace, the platform of glory, the platform of raw showers of grace. So if you want to see peace, you want to see glory, you want to see showers of grace, then go after the knowledge of God's word. Remember, as you bathe daily, bathe with the word of God, see the word of God daily, and your life will never remain the same. Remember the man Moses insisted asking God questions about his personality, and upon that full knowledge of God, see the exploit that Moses did. Moses asked God, who will I tell for that sent me? Say, I am the thing. Who is I am the thing? He began to ask questions. 
And we saw the exploit that Moses did. See the exceeding dimension of grace, glory, and honor that Moses operated on. Even God himself admonished Joshua to seek for divine knowledge and retain it forever. Meaning that knowledge of God is the greatest and the potent knowledge a man can ever have in life. Believe you me, the best gift you can give to your family, to your children, is not an education in Harvard. It's not an education in one of the Oxford University and all that. It is the knowledge of God's word. Because with the knowledge of God's word, that child can build a greater Harvard tomorrow. As such, I charge you to seek after God's word. Daily make it a lifestyle that a day will not go by without you studying the word of God, irrespective of how busy you are. David was more busy than you are as a king, yet... He goes to the temple. He prays God seven times a day and he prays three times a day. So how busy can you be more than a king? So if you go create time for God, you also can do that. However, let's understand that you must first receive Jesus to be a Lord and your Savior before seeking after his word will become paramount in your life. In the 24, verse 12 said, And the Lord said unto Moses, Come up to me into the mount and be there, and I will give thee a table of stones and a law, and a word and a law, and command in which I have written that thou mayest teach them. That means they must seek after this knowledge. They need to learn it. That's their way out of their predicament. Deuteronomy 4, 9 to 11 said, Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thy eyes have seen, and lest they depart from thy eye from thy heart, I beg your pardon, all the days of thy life. But teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons, especially, verse 10 said, especially the day that thou stoodest before the Lord thy God in Europe, when the Lord said unto thee, Gather me up with thee, and I will make them hear my word, that they may learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth, and that they may teach their children. And verse 14, the last verse said, And the Lord commanded me at that time to teach you status and judgment, that ye might do them in the land where we ye go over to possess it. So the same way we take our bread daily, we have to take the bad of the word of God. We have to consume God's word. We have to seek after the knowledge of God's word daily. Matthew chapter 6, verse 28 to 33 said, And why take ye thought for remnant? Con, uh, consider the, the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spring. But start to say, Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much clothe you, O ye of little faith? Verse 31 said, Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? And it was started to say, For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For their heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. And verse 33, my favorite scripture said, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Galatians 3, 13, 14, Christ of redeemers from the cause of the law. I want to pray with you if you are interested. I want that passion for God's uh, word to be ignited in your life. I want to pray with you if you are interested. But first, let me just pray after me. Place your hand on your chest, bow your head, with all faith, with all zeal. Repeat after me, Lord Jesus, I come to you this morning. I know I'm a sinner, forgive me my sins, my sins. I know you come to this head for my sake. You died on the third rose for my freedom. Right now I confess it to be my Lord and my Savior. Have mercy upon me, Jesus. Wash me with your blood and write my name in the book of life and grant me grace to seek after the knowledge of your word, to make it my lifestyle. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We take two prayers and shut down for prayer. Father, ignite my passion for your word and knowledge and cause me to study your word daily in Jesus' name. So 119, 97 to 99 said, Oh, I love thy law. It's my meditation all day long. 98 said, Thou, through thy commandment, has made me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. 99, 99 said, I have more understanding than all my teachers, for their testimonies are my meditation. Father, ignite my passion for your word and knowledge and cause me to study your word daily in respect of the tight schedule that I'm in, in the name of Jesus. Father, ignite my passion for your word and knowledge and cause me to study your word daily in respect of how busy I am. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Last prayer. Father, inspired, inspired the saints across the globe to create great atmosphere of divine knowledge for their engracement and glorification in Jesus' name. Habakkuk 2, 14 said, For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the water cover the sea. With this understanding, let's say, Father, inspire, inspire the saints across the globe to create a great atmosphere of divine knowledge for their enrichment and glorification in the name of Jesus. On the behalf of the saints of God out there, Father, we ask inspire the saints across the globe to create a great atmosphere of divine knowledge for their enrichment and glorification. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Join me, pray this prayer, share this gospel, and be blessed. 
from intercession ministry. God blesses you tomorrow as you continue on this teaching series. Thank you for your time. We hear good news today.